it's official. You're dropping down to 125. We've been talking about it a little bit throughout the show, kind of alluding to it all day, but it's happening. What all went into the decision for you to drop down to 125? And then I will proceed to ask you a million questions after that. <laughs> I just started to think maybe 125 was always the weight class I was supposed to be in. You got to think when I started this, 125 was not an option. And as I moved into Strike Force, it was actually 145 that was the option because of Gina Carano. So I fought up a weight class and then eventually they, they uh, realized that there were more women and we could, they introduced 135, right? Then Rhonda and I had this rivalry we fought. Um, then that because of that, 135 pounds got introduced to the UFC. So kind of just giving that history, there was no 125. And uh, as the sports continue to evolve, like these women are just really big, really long, really tall, really big women. And I just don't want to make these massive weight cuts anymore. So obviously I'm going to have to do a little bit more work to get down to 125. But according to what a lot of these 125ers are walking around at now, anyways, I am size relative to that weight class. And um, I've seen fighters make that weight, weight, weight class change before and have success. And it's not always the answer, but... I think with my wrestling and just going down and actually maybe being able to have some fight, some some reach advantage, height advantage, just physical advantages that I don't have typically at 135, mm -hmm. that it could translate really well. I think I can bully these smaller women around easier. And I also think the path to the title is shorter. I think yeah. I can come in and fight one of the top five women right out the gate. And if I got a win there, then I think I could be potentially looking at a title fight.